Hello my friends, welcome back. This is day two of classroom setup. Um, yesterday was like all over the place. So I got this bookcase built. I got my board put up, just the background and the border. Still let me know if I should do the double border. I feel like I like it. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do it, but let me know. Um, after I left yesterday, I went to Target, got another bookcase because I didn't feel like all of these books were gonna fit with the picture books in the bins. So I went and got another bookcase and then I got just a regular, regular three door drawer thingy. I'll show you later. Um, but yeah, so I'm about to put, oh also, I brought a drill and a hammer It's on top of the desk, I mean the bookcase. So came prepared today to build this one. Um, I don't have to build anything else. Last night, I printed off my Literacy Center uh, signs, so I have to laminate those, and I still have to laminate my clock label. Today, I think I'm going to do some cutting so that I can start hanging things. So, for my to-do list, I will be able to check off the build bookcase and main bulletin board. My desk is pretty much done. I did request a different kind of desk uh, like a computer table and I don't know if I'll do the student desk today but I still have I still have all of that stuff over there to do and then my books are still in there I haven't printed off my genre labels yet um, I'm waiting for my ink to get here because my black ink is really low my desks are still stacked I'm waiting for them to remove this file cabinet not sure if I want to keep that where's my finger that table there that's my kidney table um, these books I don't know if they belong in the classroom or if they're the past teachers or another teachers like I don't know um, and then the other teacher that was here before she left on that cabinet back there that's all her stuff and then the cabinets right here are still filled so kind of working around her things um it's not that much of an inconvenience um it's just that i can't put my stuff in the cabinet so that's the big issue um so hopefully she'll come soon to get that but right now i am going to build this second bookcase and then we'll go from there and then i'll yeah i'll go over there and check out some things from my to-do list after i build the bookcase Here is the pretty much finished reading area, library. I put up a Things Good Readers Do sign that I had. Pretty sure I got it from the school box. Um, my first year teaching, so that was four years ago. Um, my chapter books are all here and they're arranged by last name of the author. 
and then they're grouped by their series and then it overflowed over to here and then I have my few picture books I'm gonna arrange those by genre um, this is a chapter book but it doesn't fit it's too tall for the bookshelf and I for the life of me can't get this little stub thing out <laughs> gonna have to keep it up here and it'll be just like a display book uh for right now until I figure something else out and then this book I plan on reading the first week of school at some point the day the crayons quit got this from Goodwill um and these are leveled readers that I picked up from Goodwill as well um and this is just a social most social 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 emotional um book about anger um that I'm gonna keep out. And then I have two more book bins there. I have my pillow. I do have two stools that I'm going to bring. I just forgot I didn't have enough hands this morning to bring them for my house. Um, that pillow is from Target Dollar Spot. The big pillow, uh, arm pillow is from TJ Maxx. And the floor pillow is from Five Below. And then the carpet, I don't know if I mentioned, is from Ikea. The lamp is from Target, maybe? I don't know. So yeah that's this section love okay so i can myself organize and label books i still have to so the main bulletin board is done let me change this to well that's not coming off that's concerning let's do letters <laughs> or bulletin board um let's add a cut letters So what I am going to do now is try to clean off my desk a little and then maybe go, I want to cover these cabinets because the one there's a hole there. So I'm going to cover it with this paper, um, it's craft paper. And then do the black border around it on both of these. Um, and then my affirmation station is going to go over here on this side. And I'm debating on where I want to do my word wall. If I'm going to do it up there or here. I feel like I should do it up there because there's more space. Um, but I haven't decided. What do you guys think? So this bulletin board is going to have three sections. It's going to be reading, writing and social studies i did the letters last night i just have to print them i think i mentioned um, i'm waiting for my new ink cartridge to come before i print them and they're going to be on banners and i'm going to separate them with the maybe the scalloped border i don't know what do you think should i do keep the same and do the striped border and the scalloped border as dividers or yeah I don't know, let me know down below what you think I should do. Um, and then, so if I do my word wall up there, I don't know what I'm going to do here on these cabinets. And then, I have to put my classroom jobs somewhere. So maybe I'll do my classroom jobs here. Don't know what I'm going to do here. But I do know I want to cover them. So whatever <laughs> that is entails afterwards it's coming along i have to meet um one of the teachers to go over a program that i'm not familiar with at 11 30 which is in a little just over 30 minutes from now so yeah let's just see what i do next and i'll check back in with you guys so i am on the floor because i'm tired i hung up string lights above my bulletin board um what else have i done i put up paper and border on one of the cabinets that was a lot of work <laughs> that's why i stopped um a co-worker came in to teach me about or to introduce me to the map program that we use here okay friends so i did a lot when i came back so i left I'm pretty sure the last thing you saw was... Actually, I don't even know the last thing you saw or what I showed. Maybe it was the cabinet that I did the border in the paper. My coworker just came in. Um, 
So yeah, I did a lot. Let me just show you what I've done because I honestly don't remember and I don't really like <laughs> going back and looking at the clips. So here it is. So I did the desk, as you can see. I have groups of five. Well, I have four groups of five and then a row of five in the back. But I just find out, found out that I and possibly gonna have more than 25 so I'm gonna shoot for 28 so I have to add three more desks somewhere and it's doable because I went to another teacher's class and she has 30 and you know but she also doesn't have a corner for reading I don't know what to do I think I'm going to group of six and then a group of six here maybe push over the small group table and add one to the end of this back row maybe this is this is so crazy I'm not used to having this many kids in my room you know because I've been in special ed in middle school and we don't I've never had more than what 15 16 I think but now I'm responsible for all these tiny little humans. <laughs> and it just blows my mind, like just blows my mind that I am a fourth grade teacher of tiny humans. So, I'm gonna pause on the desk. I want to cut my letters and go ahead and hang up my letters and put them up there. I'm also debating on, oh that was really close to my face. Debating on, well I kinda think I'm going to do it but I want my word wall to be up there, but I don't know if I want to do a back border of black because I have black background paper and then I can do border around it, but I'm not sure that's what I, because then I would have to stand on the desk and be like a whole thing, you know, so let me know what you think. I'm probably not going to do that today. Um, might be reserved for Monday and Tuesday. So I'm going to do some cutting because I still have to cut pretty much everything in here. So all the stuff that I laminated in my classroom prep, I still haven't cut. I did hang up my supply icons and they're so cute. I still have to cut out the you will need thing. Um, but I just think they're so cute. My coworker came and she's like, oh my gosh, I want that too. So I love it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna sit down and do that and here we go. just finished cutting the letters so now I'm about to hang them up above my whiteboard up there. Mm -hmm. 